here we go youtube how y'all doing this is charles with grim reaper transport i'm working on this video to do a step-by-step -step process from beginning to higher and then i'm gonna go into um how to hook up your trailers and then we're gonna get into the regular nitty-gritty of transporting trailers traveling doing little things like uh, truck stop shower reviews. <laughs> so I can let you guys know all the truck stops as well that have the good showers, the locations we uh, that I'm in uh, when I stop at these uh, truck stops. Give y'all the, the best view of which truck stop you want to stop at when it's time to take your 10 hour break. Um, but let's get into it. Uh, right now, this first step is going to be about uh, looking for your RV transport company of your choice. There are several of them in Goshen, Indiana. No ifs, ands, buts about it. It's, it's like it's piles on piles here. <laughs> so uh, first step you want to do is uh, Google search. You don't know nobody in the industry? <laughs> Google search. Google is your industry search. This is no lie. Um, I literally got on Google when I first started. I got on Google and researched the company because I was following uh, a gentleman that's actually RV transported now, and he has a YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and plug y'all in. This is, uh, oh, I forgot his name. Yeah, I because he hardly mentions his name on the videos, but... His YouTube channel is Fair Winds and Following Seas. He's an ex-Marine. Speaking of ex-Marines, I'm ex-Army. Hey, we're both prior service, so it's it's, it's all love because we still brothers in the same force. Um, I followed him, and I noticed he worked for a company called Horizon. I applied for Horizon. Didn't hear anything back from Horizon because right when I applied for it, that's when this COVID-19 thing started. And it put me on the back burner when Verizon denied my applications. From my understanding, they do that every time. Mm, excuse me. And from what I'm hearing, they do it intentionally just to see if you're serious about the job. So you could go back and reapply, but I had to wait a few months before I went back and reapply or I think it was 60 days I had to wait um, well I was looking them up and somebody said hey they, there's got to be more than just them so I looked up RV transport companies in Indiana came up with a list of them uh, I mean a list I messed around got hired with uh, Synergy Transport, uh, which, I, if I remember right, the high mileage helper works with Synergy. And then um, I got approached by a new company that was less than a year and a half old. I got approached by their, uh, their owner, their president. He was out beating the pavement, recruiting people. That's what sold me with him because you don't see any other company around here where the owner is actually walking around recruiting folks, stopping and recruiting people. Hey, that, that sold me. Um, it was paying a little bit better. Uh, it was giving me a little bit more opportunity on picking loads. So it was pretty good. But don't knock me. I'm not, I'm not knocking Synergy. I love Synergy too. Um, they're a good startup company. Like you just get in the industry, that's a good company to go to. Um, but I, we, I also know that the company I'm with now, we are hiring. Uh, the company I'm with now is Dynamic Transport. <laughs> I look goofy with this on. Let me go take this back off. But yeah, I'm with Dynamic. Uh, we're hiring as well. Um, we're also um, 
we'll get into that. But I, I, I know we're hiring. We're hiring just like every other company around here is hiring. Uh, we also offer uh, trailer leasing now. So if you sign on with a uh, with Dynamic and you want to pull multiple units, you can lease a trailer with us as well. So all you got to do is call the number, look up Dynamic Transport in Goshen, Indiana, uh, fill out the application, which I'm going to show you all some of the applications right now. I think I'm going to be able to show you applications without going into and redoing the application. I forgot to tell the recruiter today that if he saw it, just ignore it. But um, I might not go that in depth because it might flag me for something. But I'm um, just show you guys how what you have to do and how to go about doing it. Um, the next video might be on, let's see, this is application. Oh, we're looking and doing applications. The next video, um, we'll talk about orientation and what to expect. And no, no, next video, we're going to talk about equipment. Because once you talk to your recruiter, uh, they're going to they gonna want you to be able to have these, uh, uh, a certain equipment before coming to Gosha. You can get it when you get to Gosha, but you might spend a little bit more money than you want to when if you get it when you, when you come to Gosha. I'm in Gosha right now. I'm actually staying at the Comfort Inn. Uh, I'm going to mess around and start doing some hotel reviews for you guys, too, here in Gosha to let you know which hotels I'm going to start bouncing around the little hotels and stuff just for just for my viewers. I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bounce around each hotel in Gosha, including the expensive one down the road. Uh, I'm going to hate that one, though. I'm going to hate coming out of pocket like that because I don't like coming out of pocket, but I do a few guys at least once uh, and tell you which one of the hotels are the best and I'll tell you which ones are the cheapest and which one's the cheapest and still decent enough to sleep in where you can get some comfortable sleep uh but let's get started i'm already at seven minutes i want to try to keep this under 30 because i done tried this video four times already and tried to upload it to youtube and it won't do it because it's too big so we're gonna try to streamline <laughs> all right hold on Sorry about that, but see, you already see, I already got it. I already got it. Um, I already got it up in the search engine. RV Transport Company is in Indiana. We got a list of these. <laughs> no, this is no joke. We have a list of them. Uh, let's see what I can see right now. What do we have right now? Okay, we got Interstate Haulers right here. We have Star Fleet Trucking. Team RV Express. And here's the other list, but uh, let me go ahead and go through. You might be able to see that list better. Hold on. Let me do this one. Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. Hold on. I got to get it further back from my computer so I can focus. Once again, I'm a newbie to YouTube. Please, please excuse me. All right, there we go. All right, there we go at the top of the list. We got, um, let's see who we got at the top of the list. Okay, yeah, we got Synergy RV Transport there here in Gosha. We got RV Transport INC. They're in Topeka, but not too far from Gosha. Indiana Transport. Hoosters tra RV Transport, RV Transport out of Millbury, which is literally right up the road. It's like 30 minutes. We got Classic Transport, which is Elkhart. Uh, that's Horizon Transport. Again, it's still Horizon. They have different uh, office locations around here. Um, got Gateway RV Transport. 
foremost IN transport classic okay they're gonna start trucking fleet we got pineapple transport group I haven't seen them before we got Starfleet INC we got Bennett uh, in Bristol but Bennett main if I remember right Bennett's main terminal is out of McDonough Georgia and Team RV um, I'm gonna run through some stuff right quick let's see if I get into Synergy's uh, web page because I'm gonna try to show you a comparison of the application process uh, or what they require. If if you really want to break down, real break down with uh, Synergy, get in contact with um, the high mileage helper. I'm um, plugging them in, plug plug names. Cause hey, I'm just here. I'm here. I just want to be able to uh, provide information, just like everybody else, and and push you guys in the right direction, guys and girls. Let's see, where are we? About synergy parts. Okay, drivers. Uh, let's see. What are they doing? Do, 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 do. I think my internet connection getting slow or is my Wi-Fi off? Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Um, application. You can mail in your application. You can apply online with your application. I'm going to do online. And you should too, because it gets back to them a whole lot quicker. Please forgive my. <laughs> my um, computer is kind of lagging a little bit. But this is Synergy's application right here. Uh, it's literally telling you where to start at. You got single pool tow tollways. You got mobile. They do mobile uh, mobilized meaning um, that's what you call drive away units. Um, haul and tow truck with trailer, 53 foot step deck trailer. Um, that's if you already have it. Here goes some of the questions they're asking you. What kind of truck or uh, tractor will you be using? Make model, uh, the mobilization, of course your uh, uh, name, email address, phone number. They need your driving license number, your social. Every company is going to be asking for all this info right here. I'm just using there since I could pull it up without going into a big application. Uh, program, but I'm gonna try to see if I can pull up dynamics too. Um, driving license number, CDLs. You don't have to have a CDL to start with, uh, to start in the RV transport. Uh, you will need a DOT medical uh, certificate, meaning you need a DOT physical. Uh, if you don't get one there, preferably. They'll, te uh, they'll tell you if you can get it where you reside at or they want you to come here to get it done. Cause they want, they really want to make sure it's you that's getting your physical and stuff done. Your work history. Now, back when I applied, they wanted me to go back 10 years for my work history. And I'm trying to see if that's what, if, unless they change. Nope, there you go right there. All, all applicants who operate in this interstate commerce must provide the following information on all current and previous employers for the past 10 years, which is crazy. So if you got your resume, use your resume to, to transfer everything over to here. Um, it's also... This also ties into another program, if I remember right. And it's going to actually do you want to save the application or save your information? 
click save because if you decide you want to leave and go to another company when you go to log back into the into that when you go to log into that company they're gonna have that same software uh that same application software that's tied to synergy and every other uh rv transport company around here and all you have to do is log back into it it'll pull all your information up your whole your whole um driving history all that stuff would be would be in there um accident if you had accidents you might as well just go ahead and tell the truth because they're gonna pull your mvr um if you are a cdl driving you drove driven trucks before they are gonna check your that report uh, they are thorough you will need a dot inspection on your truck they will need to know the make model year uh, uh, year the state is in uh, your state is registered in of your truck your tag your track has to be your registration for your truck has to be at least 26,000 pounds uh, 26,000 pounds or more I'm trying to see where it's at but I think that's in the I think that's in the equipment and stuff. You uh you e sign your application, and once you do finish this application, somebody it will get back with you. This that is no lie. They will get back with you. Um, let's see, where is the requirements? Drivers. I think I did that wrong. Oh, there, right there. Oh no, this is low board. Um, this is the low board. I can't get it on low board anymore. So, but you saw, you saw with them. You actually, you could check your pay. You could uh, send in your logs and your. Um, your documents through their low board. You also got the compliance department is in here, uh, making sure that you're compliant. You actually, if I remember right, you could go in there. They have all your licenses, certificates, your uh, license plates, uh, like your DOT physical date when when you're supposed to renew it. It'll be there. Um, your license will be up there, telling you when you need to renew your license. Your uh, then I say DOT physical that'll be up there. Little stuff that has expiration dates that's dealing with the company, it'll be up under the compliance right there, and that'll be your profile. Um, let's shoot back. Like I said, I'm gonna go to dynamic transport we now have two offices in Gosha, Indiana and like I said we're hiring they don't have it on here yet this is the owner right here this is Jay and this is the chief of operations Tom and let's see where did I go for this it's not service becoming a driver there we go all right, this is gonna be a little list of everything that you will need, and it's in this app. It's in the. Um, they have everything you need when you start working, when, when you're told you <laughs> that they want you to come on in for orientation, uh, truck requirements. You have all this right here. Like I said, your truck registration has to be up to uh, twenty six thousand pounds, basic twenty six thousand pounds or more if your state requires it but it's it should some states require you also to have a uh for higher license in order to uh operate your truck um under twenty six thousand pounds so get with your get with your uh 
your tag office and make sure that you're uh, legit. Uh, we also have these spots around here where I say you could actually buy your stuff for your uh, for starting up in in RV transport. Uh, you have Dan Service Center or what we call Dan's Hitch. Is in um, they're in Elkhart. It's about 30 minutes from here. And then we got Dooley Depot. We got one in Elkhart and we got one in Gosha. I always go to the one in Gosha when I need something done to my truck. The the atmosphere I know is real friendly, real uh, family-like type of environment. Uh, independent contractor qualifications right here. This is telling you everything you need. It's telling you what you need just to start off. You have to be at least 21 years of age or older. Professional demeanor, clean NVR, DOT, physical, medical car. Um, if you don't have a DOT physical, you can get it done at uh, around your location. But if you want to come here and get it done, you come here and get it done. But I would prefer that to save you to save you on uh, a wasted trip. I will go ahead and get it done. At my, uh, I'm sorry, you guys, trying to fix this camera. All right, I would get it done where I live first, just in case anything comes up to where you know uh, you got to get you got to get something else done, and you you don't have to be back and forth, back and forth. All right, let's get past this, and then you got the required uh, required truck outfittings, things that you need for the truck offhand, right here. It's all it's all on the dynamic website. Then it comes down. Let's see. Oh, Mac Hitch, and then there's one other company in uh, Middlebury, which is uh, which is uh, Ace Hardware, Martin's Ace Hardware, that you could buy supplies and stuff from. Okay, see right here. This is the application process for dynamic uh, to apply for positions. Okay, yeah. You will need to know the following. You will need your social security number, your home address in the past three years, current driving license, uh, driving license history for the past three years, employee history up to 10 years. So, yeah, they're still doing up to 10 years of employment, uh, past employment. So, this if, if you have a lot of employees in the past 10 years, you might want to go ahead and write them down. The uh, dates you started there, the year that you started, the month and year that you started there, and the month and year when you left. Um, traffic history, they're checking DUIs, all of that, whatever, whatever. Uh, military history, if you have any. Uh, if you want to call them, you can call them uh, to qualify for dynamic LLC compliance events. Okay. Now, this is dealing with the compliance department. That all of this stuff you have to have done in order to uh, come on with dynamic. This insurance part actually can happen when you get here. If you don't already, if you're not already with a company that covers covers the insurance that they're requiring. And here we go. We go. This is going into the application process. Like say it's typical, like a typical application. You filling out your name, your social, your date of birth, street address, uh, city, state, zip, past uh, accent. You was in your this resident for the past three years. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, contact info. Would you like to receive nine LLC compliance via text? You could do that. Let's see if I can go on to the next one. No, I can't go on to the next one unless I fill it out. And I'm not trying to fill this out because it's going to save me again in the system. And I don't want to do that. But uh, let's get out of this one. Let's go back. I am sorry, you guys. But I'm just trying to run through this and show you what's what. But that's starting now. Let's see. Indiana Transport. Let's check their website. Oh, no, that's Synergy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Indiana Transport and Synergy is up under the same umbrella now. So. It might tie in the application. Let's check it again. Okay, there we go.
All right, here's an air transports. Becoming a contractor, tow away, drive away, multi hauls. It's all about what you're trying to do. Uh, if you just start, you're going to be a regular tow away, single tow away. Uh, we're going to click on here. Where are we at? 25 minutes. All right, tow away division. Uh, okay, you go apply. Okay, see, it's doing the same thing, just like Dynamic and Synergy. They are telling you what your independent contractor requirements are. All this information you have to have, uh, you better be able to provide uh, trucking requirements. Same thing. Everything is literally almost the same thing. Yeah, it's it's literally the same thing. Every company is asking you to do the same thing. And I'm trying to see if it's showing the weight distribution, which I didn't look before. Adjustable bumper hitch. Uh, 516. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get into that when I get into parts. I don't see it up here. They're not asking you to have a weight distribution hitch. I don't see it. If any of you guys have better eyes than I do, let me know, cause I did not see it on there. Um, or what they would call a sway hitch. But yeah, same thing, and then see, apply now click here and let's see what they will do in the application same thing starting off name address how long you stayed at the address um, and it just goes on it keeps going on until you finish the application it's a lot of info but you go ahead and get started now you can apply for as many as many of these um, these companies you want you could go with the first one that calls you back um, if you want to do your research, you want to check with them, you want to know how much they pay per mile, um, ask them. They'll tell you. You get into the nitty gritty with them, they will tell you. All right, let's get down to. We're going to do one more before I. Close this out. Okay, here's the famous Horizon. Oh, my internet connection is crappy today. I think it's my hot spot. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. Yeah, this is a horizon apply today it's doing the same thing over and over same thing if I went into the uh, they drive uh oh wait a minute log in no 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 I must have went into the wrong thing give me a second Okay, tow away. All right, I got a couple of videos up here you can watch, see what you need, tow away options, uh, today's rates, and then you go down to apply which it looks like you have to register to apply for contract position horizon please first register with the okay yeah 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 that is my email address but that was my email address I was using prior but I'm not going into that um, but the application is going to wind up being the same all out the same That's starting off and back to me. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. But uh, that's typically what you're going to first start up, start off doing. You're going to find your company, find the companies that's in Indiana. You're going to do your research. Read. 
dig. Find out what you want to know. You want to know how much you're going to get paid per mile? Ask them. What's the rate per mile? The minimum to the highest. You know, don't be scared. Uh, look at the equipment list. Find where you can get the equipment from in your local area before you come here because it's going to be cheaper. I'm also getting into that in one of the other videos so I can help you guys not spend so much money before you get started. We're on 30 minutes, so I got to hurry up and end this. But this is the quick review for applying for companies and searching for companies in Indiana for RV transport. Right now, that's it for right now. Until the next video, y'all get the next video. Uh, I see you guys. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. I mean, so take it easy, be blessed, and remember the roads may be grim, but reap all the money that it will provide you. Here in RV Transport, this is your boy, Charles, with Grim Reaper Transport. Good night.